Hey everyone, I wanted to show you that I resined this big old painting, I think um, 24 by 30, 20, I don't know, I can't, it was big. Um, so, and I did not back it with anything. I just put resin straight on it and it didn't sag. Um, it turned out really nice, really happy with that. And then over here, I put on a second coat of resin on these because remember I showed you the edges had a little bit bare, so I put a second coat on those. And now we're gonna get to today's pour where I am using a different paint than um, the Dutch Boy because I know a lot of you can't find Dutch Boy. All right. Uh, hang on, let me move stuff out of the way. So I am using, and it's not quite a, a pure white, because um, I bought it as like one of those quartz that, or those, um, the ones that are uh, pre-mixed and are like 50 cents. So it is uh, Pittsburgh Paints and Stains. I don't know what this is. I've not used this brand before. Um, it is a paint primer in one interior flat, washable and stain resistant. And it is in color Wow, it's got phthalo blue, raw umber, and organic R. Not really sure what the R is. So it is this color, which is not quite white, but close enough and um, worth the experiment of trying different brands. Let me move that over there. You can't even believe what a mess I made just mixing that up. I don't know how I managed to make such a mess just by mixing paint. So I got a whole bunch of um, panels from Blick the other day in the mail. And this is a 10 inch cradled wood, um, 7 eighths thick. So what I wanted to show you was I have used the 10 inch value pack cradled wood from Blick, which is uh, three fourths inch. So you hear value pack and you would think cheaper. So you can see, obviously this is a little thicker. Um, this is the difference in the backs. Um, the wood, I can't really tell a difference in the wood, um, but they are the same price. So you're better off getting the thicker one, in my opinion. Uh, let me find a safe place to set those aside. Yeah, so I bought a bunch of those and um, so I primed them. Well, I primed a few of them last night. I wasn't gonna prime them all because last night I resin that big painting. I resin those other two. Um, and I resined another one. I don't want to get up, so I'll show you another day. So, and then I cleaned, so I was busy last night. I am going to do a mallet smash, but unfortunately, I don't know. Ah, I threw it on the ground. Last night was kind of crazy in here when I was trying to clean and resin and so I just kind of threw stuff around, so that was on the floor. And we're going to use Grumbacher Lemon Yellow, Artist Love Cerulean Blue, and Mystery Red. And then Fake White. <laughs> I don't know what to call it. Call it. Off-White, maybe? I like Fake White. Simple White. I 
think I mix it a bit thin. It is covering, but seems to be a little on the thin side. Yeah. All right. Oh my gosh, now I gotta find my torch. Well, I may as well bring over that painting since I need to now walk across the room to get my torch to get the air bubbles out of this. This was the other one that I resined. It's a little 10 by 10. It's super pretty. There you go. So that one is finished. And you can always message me if you're interested in one that I show, because sometimes I get so caught up in the painting part that I neglect to list them um, in a timely manner on Etsy. I do need to get more resin, so I can keep, I'm gonna resin the other, the last big one I did, um, that to me looks like a wave. I'm very excited about that one as well. And I was, nothing dried in it, and it wasn't covered all the way. It was covered um, on the top. I like put two taller things and then rested a big board across it. So it was covered on the top, but dust and whatnot um, could have gotten in through the sides. There was probably, oh, an eight inch open space around it. So I was kind of holding my breath, but it seems like it turned out okay. Oh man. Oh well. I might like this with the background not quite as stark. To see. Set that over there. I smashed way too much. Way too much smashing. So let's see if I can tilt it into an interesting... Yeah, this fake white is thin. Everything's just kind of flying through it. But I am like what's going on at the top near me. It's kind of cool. Worried it'll cause issues when I go back the other way. Wow, I actually like this. I 
it's so delicate. Yeah, I like this. I was gonna stop, but then that the main area was just smack in the middle and it looked a little weird. So now I'm trying to spread it out a little bit more. It's just too centered. Maybe it's because I tried to meditate today, so I'm very centered. listen to a YouTube guided meditation and I started to fall asleep which is good though because normally I can't even relax to that point with an attempted meditation so I thought the fact that I almost fell asleep was progress oh wow this is neat Except for that, that looks like a weird beak. Um, can't really do a whole lot to it since it's smack in the middle, but. At least I can try and make it look like there's not a bird in the middle of it. I told you this red was going to give me a headache down here. I want that part that I mushed up in the middle to kind of settle in like it belongs in there. Look at those delicate lines. I just love that look. I really like this. Sure, the edges are covered, and I'm curious as to um, the color of this white will be fake white <laughs> when it dries. But honestly, I kind of like it. It's just so soft. It'd be beautiful with resin. And for those of you that have said, I don't always want a resin picture. I just did some with uh, spray varnish that I will be putting for sale. Look how the red's coming out. Look at that. Very, very cool. Happy with this one. Oh my gosh, you can barely see it. Oh wow, you've probably been watching on, I can't tell she's doing anything. It's very delicate, very delicate. And it almost fades. I mean, it's almost nothing, but then wisps of color here and there. I, I don't know, I'm kind of enchanted by it. So there you have it. And I will update you as to how that paint went. And I'll catch y'all next time. Bye.